Forklifts move America. Almost all of the goods we use at some point are handled with the aid of their mechanical muscle. Forklifts are basically simple machines, but they're also massive and powerful. As you probably know, if forklifts aren't operated safely, the results can be destructive and devastating. And you'll see some examples of this in this program. But before you can drive a forklift, there's some important safety information you need to know. So let's get started. There are many types of powered industrial trucks what we commonly call forklifts. We're going to concentrate on counterbalanced forklifts, where the operator sits or stands, since they're the most widely used. Even though we drive cars and we drive forklifts, there's a big difference between the two. Steering, the controls, the acceleration, the braking, the stability, all quite different. Unlike cars and trucks, a forklift steers from the rear, and that makes maneuvering very different than what we're used to. When you start a turn, the rear end swings wide. If you're near an obstruction or an edge, you might think you're steering clear when the back of the machine is heading straight for trouble. Another difference between cars and forklifts is that forklifts have a relatively short wheelbase so they can maneuver in tight spaces. And there are no shocks or springs, so you feel every bump or irregularity. The forklift's narrow width, short wheelbase, and lack of shocks can also make them less stable on corners and uneven surfaces compared to cars. The load a forklift is carrying also affects its handling and stability. You can compare it to how a teeter-totter works. The weight of the load is offset by the weight of the forklift counterbalance. The front wheels of the forklift are the pivot point. A forklift has the greatest stability and most lifting capacity when the load is close to the backrest, centered over the forks and close to the ground. The forklift's load limit is calculated for this position. However, the higher you lift a load, the lower the load limit of a forklift. The load limit can vary from one forklift to another, but you'll find that information on the forklift data plate. The further the load is positioned from the backrest, the less stable the forklift and the less weight it can carry. As you approach the load limit of the forklift, the weight of the load begins to reduce the weight on the rear wheels. This dangerously reduces your rear wheel traction and your ability to steer safely. Trying to lift an oversized load can even cause the rear end to come off the ground. Most forklift operators will know the weight of the loads they carry on a day-to-day -day basis. But if you come across something out of the ordinary, it's important to determine if the load is beyond your load limit. You can start by looking for weight markings on the load, or you can ask someone who's familiar with the load. No matter what its weight, if a load isn't stable, it's a hazard. Some examples are damaged pallets, overhanging loads, off-center loads, or loose loads. If a load is loose, slippery, or consists of individual pieces, it should be secured before moving. A forklift can handle heavy loads at a considerable height, but the higher the lift, the less stable the forklift becomes. So be especially careful that the load is positioned and balanced correctly when handling an elevated load. 